Just like that, I will go. And I found myself on my bed. That is that. That is the time. And I will answer. I also need to hear from you. We are all one. Although our name is Peter, but we are having only one word. This is not an eighteen. After my father's death, our husband lost his job. This death is where we are managing how to survive. We are praying for God to help me. Whatever you can do to survive the family, but not our daughter. So last month, it is September, we just after. We a man called him that she come and collect the car to drive. A man with the mother had the whole family before. Because we took the, the motto to my village. All those people don't move because they don't. They make sure that they brought my first like that. Any though we dream, we say ourselves in the village. But the same thing I'm doing the same thing about my dream. So now we'll be in the village, helping my mother in the to farm, picking the cassava with my children. And then we we'll went on other people that was coming from city for the same car. They give us a bread. But I think that we said this in another country. Also, we did that uh, the house, we, we pack out to, to our own personal house. We always see ourselves in, in, in that house again. I say we kind of think it is. That is back one So, since that, since that time, I don't have anything to play again. And they, and they, and they, and they and go ask our prayer to, to, for him to call him to collect this car. This car was having problems. This last two, 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 last two weeks to stay. When we are here, I'm going to pay a big man. Somebody said that he's going to meet in the house. So as I got on and I came in, I was like, oh, I'm part of calling up and down for all this, this was possible. As I went out, I saw the designer boss there. And I met my husband and said, is it what he said? I thought that man has given me the car thing and she said. And since then, my husband was supposed to be running at least to, 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 to make sure to have something to be not to stay in the house in the morning. And to be running from here to Akan for all of them. But the moment is having problems here and there, here and there. Sometimes break, sometimes tell it, sometimes tell you all these things. I don't know. So as we are all one family, I pray. I pray I'm begging you to pray for me. So at least to make sure that something comes up. That we won't be a better God go again. Let my family stand. And I pray that I'm going to stand with God. There's power in this place. I promise you. God, God, my God will bless you. And I also thank my mother that that made them to you. God be a shepherd. God will bless you for me. For the song you give to me to be blessing me and my family.
It's not in where you have food or this place is really good. How is it coming? Say, I can't go for everything. Then we cannot stop him from going to his evangelism to, to, to come out of the house. Today, I, I normally come early with my kids to pack, help to pack these things to arrange. Today, as we were coming, we were rushing because of the rain. Normally, my boy, he goes with me, doesn't cross it. So, who got to this junction to cross over to this side? All of a sudden, I just had an edge here. I just saw him. Avenue, you see Kingdom Financial Avenue, you see the corner of the square. And I look at it, I'm not 
sun, there is no sun, no moon, but there's light everywhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now show me a place that took me to an avenue to the other dimension. Say, that is your avenue. When I got there, I noticed that that one building, say your foundation there, say, but this is your building to have the key to kingdom and it means we also not a lot of evangelism. Even as a student, even the winners are not evangelists, are not missing. Until a pandemic, this your people will rise up. Praise the Lord. So for some of us here that are having a pandemic, that's the most important thing. The more you have a pandemic, the more you will so for Christ. That's how your mansion here. As my brothers and sisters, the mansion of heaven is in this valley. We have seen mansion in Africa. But nothing can be compared to what I saw here. And I look at it and say, God, this is awesome. I look at I look at brown. And I look at the language again. Say, this language is an angel. That's the key. That's the key to heaven. And the day you hope you can have it lost it forever. And I've tried to study language. That's the language to never leave your tongue. Your tongue has been born to that heavenly language. My brother, when I, when I woke up, when I look at that, I don't see that I pray for over one hour, more like me. And I kept enjoying that realm. Kept enjoying that realm. Say, man, this is the place to be. Everything here on earth doesn't matter again. That place is a beautiful place. It's a place that every one of us should aspire to go. Praise the Lord. And that language again. I told you, if anyone left with that language in this city, among the, among the ministers of God, an apostle in the house has that language. I don't know how easy to, but God they showed me my own. Praise the Lord. So, whenever I get that language, you know, this morning I tried to speak that language, you are far past it again. As I walked on the way this morning, coming from church in I tried to use that language again. Praise the Lord, because the code gave it to me, and I don't need to expose it. When I tried to do that language, I now saw a car came out. When I look at the tablet of my friend, that was like me, I said, I came to somebody. He said, that guy is taking you home this morning. I said, Father, I thank you for the privilege, no matter what, I belong to this commission. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. And when we say, that is where you belong. No matter what, stay in that commission. That is where you belong. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. I want to thank God for the privilege of obedience to that word. My friend, I shall never lose the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. We have touched that for the one kind of person who has touched that for the decision. Hallelujah. Amen. Our service in the city, my heart is panting after you as the dear parts of the blues. How many of us want to walk with him? We're talking about evangelism, talking about walking in the house. If we want to walk with him, I want to see you with your hands in him. Come on. Say, Lord, help me to walk for you. So take me, take me. I want to walk for you. So I'm going to have to be passing for you. Passing for walk for you. Hallelujah. Pray that as you listen, the soul will be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Lift up your hands, let's give God a let's appreciate it tonight. Thank you. 
so smart today. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I see I'm coming, I'm going to declare seven points today. And I'm trusting God those seven points shall be fine in your life. Don't worry, you can watch me later. Just say amen to the prayers. Uh drop the jobs and don't say amen to it. Make Katora, Shatanaba, Melatora, Nakarata. Please not help is coming to you from places of the
John 1 20, as many have received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Good news. Our Saturday breakthrough summit. I don't know if I'm enjoying this, this Saturday program of the army. It will be set up and not for this point today. A man traveling by aircraft have peace of mind that he will get there before somebody with a vehicle or taxi get to hear us. So the time for that program is 10 p.m. No one will ever ask you why are you today in this area anymore. As you attend that anointing service complete to 10 10 is a very significant day, very remarkable day for your calendar. Good news. Our crusade is taken for 12 days from today. The flyers is already ready. Do you have the flyer here? Is it here? So if you have a big picture of us, let's check that one get his past. Come from now on, I stand again. Eh? This is not good here. So let's get the flag, let's wait for the flag so we get the we can bless this one. Then we will tell one of our friends. The date of the program is 16 to 18 of October 2020. The program, the program of that crusade shall be a baptism of fire. A baptism of fire and test of the fire. Jesus is God. I don't know if I trust my God will do something. Follow the program and fly past all of you. Go, 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 all of you are living down so that's why I will be blessed. The way the world will be blessed is so short. You come to church, sit and see the chairman of local government. Huh? I've never sat once in church when I was an usher. You always keep busy everywhere. That's why the place is called you. Don't laugh me. Come down. If you have seen me, come inside. Don't laugh me and discuss it. People play too much, I don't know. This life is so busy. And we only have to say saying that if they are busy, he does not care. Because if I who is, who is, who is about to get his life, does not care who is in such him. Oh, not miss his flight. I don't joke with life. Oh. I'm only serious. You see me every time. Serious. Because serious people are glorious people. Serious people are people with tangible experience. Serious people are blessed people. Serious people don't walk into casualty. They are not permitted to operate under the climate of reproach. Serious people will always get up. Because God speaks sometimes in the intensity of serious worship and praise. So they are going to define the fire of some people. Sit down and cross the flag. Father, get your breath. Be upon the flag. Yeah. And let the Holy Ghost be upon it. Yeah. In the name of the Father, yeah. and of the Son, yeah. and of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The breath of God breathes upon it. Receive this, receive their healings. Amen. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Sidney Gospel. They share it all.
door and the door shall be open unto you. Now let us go to Psalm 64. Psalm 64. Verse 7. Let us I would like to read, I would like to say that in prayer. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayers. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from sacred cancer of the wicked. From the solutions of the workers of iniquity. Who wear their tongue with swords and bear their mouth with shoes of arrows, even at the bitter walls. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Something they do shoot at him and fear no more. They encourage themselves in an evil matters. They come in of lazy activity. They, they say, Who shall see them? But God will see them. Amen. They search not iniquities or accomplish the diligent search. But in evil thoughts of every one of them, and their heart is deep of it. But God shall shoot at them. Say, Amen. Whenever they gather in the night of our service month, God shall shoot at them. Amen. So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. And all of them shall flee away. Understand? And all men shall fear, and they shall declare the work of all. For the Lord shall wisely consider his doing. And verse 10. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord. And they shall trust in him. And all bright in the heart shall glow. Amen. May the Lord bless his word tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. This month, I would like to read another version of the Bible so we can both understand the meaning of what this month is all about. I read from Holy's Bible. Verse 1. Then Jesus told the disciples he tried to teach them that they should always pray never to become discouraged. Mm. That they should learn how to pray so they will never be discouraged. Today we'll be looking at what is prayer. Because the month you are in is a month of prayer, understanding prayers. A man called also Jesus said, pray about everything. Don't leave anything untouched. Because you don't know where the devil will pass to. Pray about everything. Don't leave anything unkept. Our understanding tonight is to understand where your prayer stop is where your impact stops. You want to be impactful? You want to be resourceful? You want to be delightful? Do you want to be uh, fulfillful? Do you want to be achievable in this life? It's determined by prayer. Proverbs 4, 18 said the part of the church. It's like a shining light that shines more onto the perfect. It is said those who follow his versions of prayers are not permitted to walk into these versions of calamities. So number one is where your prayer stops. It's where your impact stops. We are made to understand those who are making waves are men of prayers. Daniel became a successful president in his time. Because it accommodated himself in ranks of prayers. David, the anointed mystery of God, the anointed worshiper, a previous king in his time, said the testimony that seven times will I praise him, three times will I pray. As previous as he was. When you have excuse of praying, you have you have an easy way for the temple to afflict you. impactful Christian. You will not know how delightful, how delightful you will be, how excited you will be if you, will, if you can just embrace prayer every time. If you know the forces that are pursuing you, if you know many people are praying that you will not make it, if you know many people are praying that you will not come to service today, you will be prayerful. Because as far as human being is still occupying the earth, evil thoughts comes out of your heart. And the people with the devil are anointed with three generous anointing for people to anoint a thing if evil happens. 
That's why you need to pray. So you know, so you will not walk into their evil thoughts, conclusion. You know, many people pray that the church should fall, but the church has not fallen. Every day, God is still making ways. They came back. I pray for them that are checking on our succeed testimony anyway. Us pulling back from the Lord, I said, wow. Impactful prayer brings excitement. If you want to be excited, be prayerful. So why your prayer stops, number one, is where your impact stops. Number two, to understand that prayers is the channel for supply of power. If you don't want to be lacking in that, you need power for conception. You need power to get that job. You need power to take them. No prophecy. Any prophecy upon your life without prayer is a wasted one. They can also be converted to lepros. The Bible says Jesus be born in the power of his spirit. After praying for 40 days and 40 nights with fasting. And the Bible says he faced spread over a pro. That is the prayer. You head on like a liar. Prayers bring supplies of power. A man called John Chile arrived in South Africa where there was an outbreak of virus. According to him, he said, I can't pray to the one who constructed the earth and what is in the earth will destroy him. When they play the virus is and virus died under many seconds. When I see your prayer life, I'll show you the receipt of your future. Prayerfulness brings supplies of power. Why do you see many people angry? They are using something because they can't do what we are doing. After I leave here, I'm going to pray. It's as been my routine every day. Prayer. That's why somebody says something where. You see, we have to get say something in you. I was, I was, I was coming out from the fast food, me, like this. I guess my AK is so. That if somebody say something, but I didn't imagine on Saturday, on Sunday, somebody say something on, on Friday, that I saw me praying for him on the afternoon. Anointing him. Those are the realms that is unthinkable that you can manifest. Why do a praying Christian, you don't find the handwriting of angels not to read? We could have said, I saw, I saw, I've never about this Sunday before we had this time. That was two, two months ago. So, prayers makes you to take the devil one away. The devil not take you one away. But many of you that Satan is doing over time in your life because you are playing with your prayer now. The agency begins by the medicine. Play with prayers. Play with prayers. Play with me. That's why the Bible says the adulterer, the fornicator, the blasphemer, the gossiper. Say they will not have any place in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is prayer. And I say, My house shall be called the house of the prayers. Number two, to understand more, the more prayerful you are, the more you keep burning. Burning with what fire? When cancer land, land in your body, it's most telling something because your body is not a temple. Your body is a temple prayer. Prayerful Christian. A powerful Christian. Thank God for prophecy. Thank God for prayers. Thank God for everything that people are doing. But you don't take responsibility by yourself, you become a casualty. So that's a prayer. It's and that's why the Bible said, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. He said, That no one has no hair, the everlasting of fear, no. There's no such understanding. He said, Give us strength to the weak. 
we have nine to get which are we. Let's read it to that. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But then that went upon them upon verse 28, you will not see them. I don't know, I don't know. The everlasting God of Father, no, there is no searching of this. Searching of this understanding. You can't understand it, you can't comprehend it. You don't know how you are living, but you know you are living. The amount of action you are taking, you can't, you can't, you can't calculate it every day. That is God's understanding. It gives them power to defend. To them that have no might in clear strength. Even the youth shall pay, they will be away. The young men shall not only fall, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, it will renew their strength. They shall not up wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And finally tonight, is to see what prayer is all about. Things to note. A line without prayer is a line with noise. Noise. How many of you have heard people making noise? Noise maker don't have a place in the kingdom. Noise means voiceless believer. There are people who claim they are praying, but their voice is not heard in heaven because of secrecy. When is felicitated with holiness, it becomes a bond. He said, Thou are holy, thou that he inhabited the place of your people. He said, Hear my cry, O God. Hear my cry, O God. For my holy God shall come unto you. That is something. That's a lot that song used to sing in the earth during the second days. days. Pass me, gentle, my gentle, Savior. Yeah, my humble cry. Ah, 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 Seat to dispose the devil. Number three, 
A life without prayer will always be a life of evil activities. Today, accident, tomorrow, I'm robber, tomorrow, only loss. Why you find those kind of people you know that they are cost people already? There are two people living in this world today. Number one, a blessed person and a cost person. Anything that comes to a blessed person multiplies. I am blessed. That's why you people can be touched with your hands and really take place. But it costs person. Even when you take him to Chicago, you see him in Chicago. It's in New York, but it's in San Francisco. Because when it comes, a cost person may find himself in the corner of a state eating together, but he's living like sitting in the village. What a lie. Evil achievements. You are sleeping on the bed, or you find yourself sleeping in a shivari in the night. That is a cost. That's why prayer has come to eliminate you, to exempt you from this climate. That's why I'm trying to explain something which you need to know about many of prayers. You know, this is doing some saying this, this happened and it happened. There is a way we preach, and the way is not want to open up to you. Any man who wants to seek in the normal farm, open the seek, open the portal to you, let them be blessed. So you can be effortless. Preaching the gospel. Preaching the gospel. That's why Paul said in Romans 1 16, said, When I come to you, I'm coming in the flesh of his blessings. And we come to you when you see, I will know that you are already blessed. And you all know this kind of blessing I'm talking about. No man, if you give them transport, they will not nothing for. If you give them quiet, nothing for. If you give them this, when they see that they are frustrated, they want to frustrate others, God push them away. For a blessed person, put him in a uh, protocol, people multiply. Put him in a or multiply. I was talking to a great one of God's children today. I said, I watch your service. You mean you, the people still come and is hearing me. You see, they love God. Because some people like just not under church and believe that they have suffered. He said, God is still with you. He me, he still has this kind of crowds. I said, yes. He said, I just watch it. He said, that is powerful. 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 There's a man of God which is playing with us. That is powerful. So that's when money starts. I'm here, I'm here. That was it. I mean, it's oh, it's so much. Why do you people like to be with your husband, be with your wife? It's not that you're terrible, I mean, yeah. What well, they like, they, oh, that you're terrible, they like their job very much. For the evening, people stick up. Say yes. Sir. So, he let me watch your point back. He still wants it. Sis, you say, people stick up like during the rain, as you said. Say, this is fun. You say, whatever that you have, you have been doing that has brought you to this kind of friend that you have seen this crowd, keep doing it. A great man of God said, was from this, he said, consistency in prayer brings instant results. You know how powerful God is? If God did not say, if you go and say you are having this service, if nobody will come, or you are being matched. And I want to turn us to all those Abrakadia in town. That death keep us in town. People that own the town is in town now. Yes, sir. They should stop making those magic because very shortly, what generally, let's say, gentlemen, how about we expose them again? Amen. Exposing their shaman houses. Amen. By the power of God. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And by the four, that's it. The more you pray, the more you are free from pride. If you are to come there, you are to know that people that feel that they are not important, that's why you don't want it. But the people that feel they are not important than you. You know that some people sitting there and say, I will pray for an anger. Who is it going to do? But if they talk, say, when you get to this kind of thing, you are not you are not an astronaut that's about to commit suicide. Don't feel it too inferior. That you are everything. You are not.
automatic. What you don't look like, you feel that you're super, you feel you're super, you have super, superiority complex more than anybody. The only thing you see here and not all of us is our toilet, our kitchen food, our school. How do I know that you are, you are inferior in that? When they give you instructions, you don't obey. And no proud person can pray. That's why one of the plague of this end time is that. A man of God has sat up for 50 years, preaching gospel. You just come because of one chapter of Bible you read. Come on now and say, what that man was here, you can't say. My boy, you say something, I know what I have to do. This is funny now. That woman is supposed to be preaching in church. That is only man. A woman can be under a man to preach, but a woman must not own church. See, all what people who are here everywhere in fact. And the man gave scripture, first Corinthians chapter 14 is there. There is a shame for a woman to stand in church to be preaching. Shame. They talk, 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 I think that is number one. And I don't want to say the same thing. He said your opinion cannot for his privileges. You say you tell him this or that, it does not concern him because you are not in his class. The only way you can be in his class to come to where he is standing and cross him, and you know how you will not invent yourself. Proud people that have a tendency with Lucifer. Look at what came about Lucifer. Because Lucifer was not praying again, he was only worshiping, he stopped worshiping. He started imagining itself as Messiah. Ah, we be like Christ. Hi, ah, yes, so much. Anybody you hear them say, I, I, run from them, they are not that I will insult God by trouble. I will be like Messiah. I will ensure that my truth is bigger than his own. Until God kicked him, get out. Go to the end. That's the Bible saying, Whoa, to our pitans of the end. But the devil is come to you because he knows he has a short time. There's a man called Uncle Nebu. Nebu said, uh, Is it Nebu? Uncle Nebu? He saw how people praise him. That's why you know there are people who are praising him. No matter the miracles that happen, the testimony that happens in every service, I go back to thank the owner. I'm not like to see those and I forget the one doing it. Every sweet food you are eating, there is somebody cooking it inside somewhere. Yes, and God is the one cooking it. I go back to the time. Uncle Nebu refused to acknowledge God. Say now, this temple are built that is very big. God looked at them and looked at the angel shape them. Say, God, what should I do? I opened Peter to be freed from the prison. Then they go and mock him and convert him. And one came out of his body and died. Somebody after that before one comes, but one came out first. And I'm going to go in that that thought is more than God. God sent it to the University of Anima, where he lays out to be humble. May God not humble you by your pride. Amen. And I hear amen. And I hear amen. The next thing is like, the boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh. It's big like, uh, uh, cat. <laughs> and your every voice on Pune, who was producing it? Because of that. Be careful. Anywhere they think they can only depend on you when you are not here. We invest time on you. That's why you want to be, you have, you have to find every excuse to be available when God needs you. Let God not see that you are trying to play with that talent he gives you. Let God not start that time to commercialize what he has given you. When I get to play this time and they give me honorable money, I get angry because I don't give a shit already, but I'm not like that for you. Fill it with their things. Fill it with their things. Prime, proud people who never have time to pray. They believe it's their faith, their capacity, their knowledge. It's why they are making it. Yes, Every day of your life, you pray us. You need prayer to be connected. You need prayer not to walk into calamity. You need prayer to hear the voice of God. 
That's why I don't like people choking me or make me. Because now God's question becomes the peace. We settle it. We talk. When you see me smiling, I'm hearing God. When you see me angry, I'm hearing God that should be careful. Forget the crowd you put up. Forget everything we are wearing today. If God is not with you, let us be seen. Huh? Take your seat, don't worry. Forget the things you are wearing. Forget who is calling you today. If you don't have God beside you, nobody will call you. That's why I need to make a prayer. A man called John Wesley had this brutal testimony. When he asked him, How do you dare see him? By a praying look, he said, I set myself on fire and people come to watch me burn. John Wednesday abolished a call in the island of England by just prayers. Apostle Baba Lola, up to now, in the queue, the place he prayed, the water he prayed they on, people still come from overseas to receive it into the water. One day, he said, Last year, I tasted that water, I first it. At first stage, I know that I felt that this kind of power still there because I know when I see power. If you're a man that carries power, when you make you power, you know, don't be honest when you say, let, I can abandon you, let, choke yourself, let. Somebody said, if you know, the man of God was trying to lay hands on the guy to follow that, and that guy to score, the man keep it like this, the man fell. The guy stopped saying, oh, that one will clear me like that.
as eternally, eternally demonstration of love for God. So as to have privilege with him. Philippians 3 was uh, time he said that we know him. One of the privilege that we have with God is prayers. Number two. Prayer can be defined as personal spiritual communi communication with divinity. In order to express power to humanity. That is the end product of prayers is power, not powder. Not powder display. In Matthew 6, 5 to 12, it was said that Jesus prayed and the countenances were changed and the smell was dropping like the blood. And we all saw the results how Jesus became powerful next time. The essence of prayer is to be transformed by God's power. If prayer does not change you, nobody will change you. Number three, prayer can be de de defined and described as a channel's channeling one's voice, not mornings. Until you understood by God. Either in a mood of general aspect, that is, you have a decision that something great was happening. Until you understand the voice of God, you can't operate in the voice, in the amount of prayer, in the forces of faith. Mark 9 23. When there is something, if you have faith, you say, you say, you have faith, you say, you have faith, you if that can be then nothing shall be possible. Prayer can be defined as standing alone with God in meekness until God's lifestyle is displayed to your life. Those who pray always show meekness. You always see humility in them. The only way you will not see humility is when you are trying to pray with God. Or you come to church and I will shout on you. I don't have salvation for that one. I have salvation for every other thing, but for you to come to church and you are doing any Oh, at the end of the system. Well, do any other. What about if you have a safe thing to that guy? It's not me, I don't want to put up. It's just two calls I'll make. They'll just take you, take you somewhere, keep you there. Your, play, your family will spend money. When they spend all the money they have, they will know that you don't, it's not going to talk to. I can't see anybody talking to you so that they are not that it, just rest, no rest, you have a son already. But more than that to be in this state, when they were arrested, that state is not to, it's to pay flight, if it's ten people that come and carry you, just carry you. Take me to where they will take your care. You don't have to talk. I may be very big in every area, but when you are trying to play for and I find out our flesh is not finished. Yeah. Prayer makes you to display the life of God and to display the nature of God. Messiah displayed capacity of breath of meekness even at the point of dissipation. But displays the ionic nature as resurrection. He was very incomplete his spine. But when he wanted to rose from the dead, what happened? He rose as a lion. When he wanted to die, he died as a lion. The Bible says he shouted, Holy, holy Sabbath, that was it. God, God, do not forsake me. He said, Lord God, and he gave up the ghost. He died as a sheep. But why? Out of the grave as a lion. With this all the point we have established to come. I would like to know that prayer is more effective. Prayer is so exciting. And prayer is very good. I'm sorry, man, but before you make that So it's a small Very impactful. Very exciting. When you get to this realm of prayers, then you can call you a blessed. You can become a blessed. That's why this one no joke. Be tired of operating for one shop as a businessman. As a businessman. Yeah. Be tired. Be tired. I saw four years ago that God did 
we embrace the particular area. You know why? I engaged that area and started building on them from last month. And that, from that last month, I said, open it, open it, open it, open it. Because every gift not gives you, if you don't know it all, it may die. Joseph saw that he had a dream. A gift of dream did not talk in my holiness. Daniel saw he had a gift of interpretation of dreams. He did not join by prayers. And the result came. I was standing by looking and God told me that until you are held by me, nobody wants to help me. Yes, when Jesus was held by the power of God, he began to help others. As chapter 10, verse 38, our God has taken the other building with some power. He went to power to you. He had blessed them. He could come. You see it? Don't you are held by God. Your body must help you. Everybody is selfish. But God is not selfish. He's a new gift for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So get back up tonight. Step in yourself. Tell your friend, for so time, I don't have time, I want to pray. Sometimes lock yourself in the room. They put a seed, that's why they are taking for granted. Discuss. Discuss. Mankora, Zeleto, Marati, Kuli Ars, Kemunista, Karuna Boka, Kereosa. One hour. Before we get to our ass. For that man, you need to find explosion in the Explosion. 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 We told this man once. Don't think that not like thought that was not what. When it was time for emergency, you see, the man is making waves. Nobody said, a man of God is not saying, I like me to eat. Can you give me 10 days? How you run? I said, No, me, I don't need it. Because people as you are watching, you feel like watching till you finish it. Nothing comes to this hand that does not need it. It is. Because it's consistent. If you want your life to be blessed, let this one not be a joke, a joke out. School yourself is for prayers. And when you come out, you bet you have power. And that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That is it. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Even the way you say amen, that means how you are praying now. You pray. Lord, this week, I take the way of this testimony. Whatever testimony you see people share in the church, you can move around. Everyone is free. I take the way of it. This week, I do this. I then, let me give you a scripture. Philippians 4 19 says, The Lord supply your needs according to his riches. The Lord will supply your according to your prayer. No, I don't like my prayer like this. I don't like my mind this. I want. As you pray now, God will show you that document that has missed.
come here to our house. Father, this man, don't worry, I prophesy.
As you give your time to offering tonight, supplies you have never imagined will come to you this month. Yeah. 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 It's an error to have money to buy the church car, but you don't have money to give to God in His presence. It's not an error. And those are people that come to work here in the church, they want money. Huh? Why you don't give to God? God give to you. People are going to have to say, I'm in church. See my blow. This one is my tight. This is a tight. I was blessed. I paid my this my tight. I've never missed it. Once it happens, I send it to the commission. I think I can. But this one gave cash. See this one? Offering. I don't miss it. When you follow great people, you go great. Makes your life not to be tight. Offering deletes your name from suffering. Let nobody deceive you. Your capacity of giving determines the capacity of your blessings. Okay, this amen, 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 we are looking for. If God tells you with small money and refuse to give to you, they will give you small level. But when God gives you small money and you give to God big, the biggest of it, He gives you more. I gave God my black men during those days. I don't like any expensive phone to use. If any phone comes out now today, I want it. Somebody somewhere will be healed and he will send me so he can be seen to pastor. Somebody was telling me, say last night, yeah, the highest phone is 11, to 11 months. I forgot the highest one. I said, ah, that is the highest phone. I said, I will get it. When I got the person was that, he said, you send it to I say no for nothing because the seed of God are looking for so seed for it. If it's so seed of prayer to you, you will never lack good wings. If it's so to God, you never lack for God. It's very poor. You don't give. I want. <laughs> if you give pen to God, God give you pen. If you give money to God, God will give you money. Right here in this office. People come to give me dollars. This company is that same. Give to give me dollars as a blessing. Right in this calendar, people give me pants. He has collected the few ones. Have you? Yes, sir. Give me pants. You follow me, so you give me pants. When you're a blessed man, even you find yourself in Sahara Desert, they will bless you. Yes, sir. Something will leave your hand for something to come. For God to win the whole world, he has to give his only the connection. I don't need to preach this now. Don't give. Sometimes when I'm in church, I don't want to give up. I pull my expensive watch. I give it as an offering. That was a day. My keko watch. I'm not my keko watch. Very expensive. It's a gold watch. They were giving me offering. That was, I was winners in the early day. I forget my offering in the house. I have to remove my watch. Watch one hundred and something thousand. Help me to go. What is wash? I don't like wash. Someone that brought this from London. You can't be a giver and be looking as a poverty person. Yesterday, someone said, You will be. You have got clothes, white clothes, stamps clothes, white clothes, eight ten pieces.
But I have to say this. So your perspective can change. Can I hear that from somebody? Can I hear that from somebody? Be a giver. Let God see that you are giving. Then that seed will not open your windows. Some people are praying. The windows. They will be as praying. But when the angel check their financial stuff, nothing is there to give. So what the angel do is prayer. You still get anything for prayer for keep praying. But when you are in the man, you pray. Ay, 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 ay. The man will be falling, chak, 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 like this. I get called the last morning in my account for my ticket after she knew. And from that day, I did not need to go for economy class again from that day. From that day, business class. All till now. I have four tickets I don't use till now. Four tickets. I'm not making money. I'm telling the reality of giving. If you think I'm making money, that's why you are the same level. You don't get it. Give us have access to cause supplies at any day at any time. And we want to leave Philippians 4 19. But what's the love you want? Okay, the Lord will supply my nature according to Jesus' glory. Which riches are you giving to God that God will supply you? Nothing. And take the giving life. I will leave in the church. No way, where someone just called and said, You want to see? Go to where, where? They came. Give me on that day, Saturday. Say, I've been blessed by your teaching, Pastor. I'm not the member of the church, but I'm watching on Facebook. I came to just say, Let me bless you. Amen. And no more. That is what giving us. If you are a giver, you are not permitted to bend. Am I hearing somebody say, Amen? Start blessing, start giving as an offering. Start giving to God. God will bless you. That people you are even behind you. People are hungry now when they see you, but they can't do us anything. Because, number one, we are just not threat to them. We are security threat to them. They know it must carry your life to God. Give us. Any day you come to something that will give it to God, keep God in worship. Give God one expensive thing as in your body, just give it to God. And tell God, this is what happened. When you love God, you don't hide your resources from Him. When you love Him, you must understand in Jesus' name. As you give the offering tonight, you are blessed. In the name of the Father, and you offer your time in the name of Jesus Christ. Every time that this commission, your financial door is open, receive massive promotion this month. Before 27 of this month. Jesus Christ. I know my love is good. I know you know my love is good. My love, my love is good. I know you know my love is good. My God is good love. My God, my love is good.
disaster, evil prophecy upon your life. May the blessing you receive tonight defeat them just like that. From the north, from the south, from the west, from the west, you shall be recommended.
is magnetized for blessing. You begin to declare those things. Chant them. Don't pass it down. It's not like that. Nothing happened like that. That was very false. They first something happened. So chant yourself 30 minutes. One hour. Lepana Saka. Kore Nabasha. There's some people this week. I am not an object of this table. No. I'm not packing to be a disaster of people. I'm not packing to be a disaster for this table. I'm packing at it as if I'm a package for people. Just take that fancy thing and then I'm a classic from praying with them. Before when it, before Tuesday we meet here by 5 p.m., many of you become your basket of testing. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is Lord. Say amen. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is Lord. Say amen. Yeah. Yeah. I leave this final arrow. Any woman being spirit that has gone pursue you. Know that that that, that saying you will not get married. That's his that is my um yesterday. How God came that uncle is still on stage. Any uncle or sister who has vowed that you and me are standing not to make it, my God this week will judge them. The land of Judah will judge them. What kind of making of this teaching of prayers is moving from one prayer place? One prophet to another prophet. We tell no answer.
glory for honoring the word of a servant at all times and for not allowing any word from his mouth to come out and go back in vain to give God glory. So um, that will do for one second thing God has done for you since you joined the commission. So I, you know, with the analysis you've given, God has been faithful since you came to give God glory. So that, 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 so I, uh, that, that, uh, if, if I should ask, that's to say that, um, with all these things you've seen, you've convicted and you've convinced in your heart that this man of God, Apostle mm -hmm. Lomot, as a couple Joseph, is indeed a true man of God and that he's your prophet. He's your prophet. So you have chosen the commission here as a place of worship. Hallelujah. Okay, um, how was today's service? Finally, we will It was awesome. It's awesome. I can see it's radiating. It's radiating all over you. I can see the move of God. I can see the excitement all over you. So, what's the final word to our viewers out there all over the world? You know, we have online viewers. They are scattered all over the world. They are watching you now and they want to hear what is your final word. What is your passing word? What would you want to say before you finally leave? Yeah, what I have to say is that I've seen God in action. I've seen God using a man that I've decided to, you know, allow himself to be used as a vessel. And God has used him mightily. And like I said before, I've seen instant testimony, instant miracle, healings going on. And I believe, and I tell everybody, both the viewers, that if you believe the man of God, believe you also have the same testimony that I have. So I believe you from the first day and I will continue to believe the God for Thank you. Thank you very much. It was nice having you. God bless you. Our viewers out there, you heard it all from the man we just interviewed, Mr. Benson Best, what God has done in his life, what God is doing in the life of worshippers out here. The scriptures say freely we receive, freely we give. This man of God is doing all this free. He's not charging any fee, both for counseling, both for all these miracles. Everything God is doing it free to the glory of his name. And we are believing that as you continue to stay connected to this big commission, the World Diet International Gospel Church, if your own testimony has not come, your testimony is on the way. Continue to stay tuned, continue to invite your loved ones, continue to invite your friends, continue to invite your family members, continue to stay connected to this big commission. And this God who has done it for this brother, who has done it for so many, who has healed the sick, who has delivered the captive and the distressed, will not fail to do your own for you. Thank you very much for staying tuned. God bless you. We'll see you on Tuesday as you continue to watch with us. Thank you. Shalom. Hallelujah.